and Joey! What's up, you guys, and welcome to the fifth episode of Heavy Weapon Concepts. And today we're going to be discussing one of my all-time favorite heavy concepts, the Biobreaker. Now, just in case you don't catch the reference here, the Biobreaker is actually an idea based off of the giant drill arms worn by Big Daddies in Bioshock. And just like in that game, the Biobreaker is equally as terrifying in TF2. Now, one of the reasons I like this concept so much is because it presents a totally different way to play the Heavy, a class that players often complain is much too linear. But beyond just that, and even more to my personal liking, I also believe the Biobreaker would help even the odds against Vassinators, which are still typically one of Heavy's most unfair battles. The reason I think this is because the Biobreaker wouldn't deal out bullet damage like every other kind of Heavy primary, but instead would only deal out melee damage. But with that being said, just because a weapon could fix one or two problems doesn't mean it would work practically with everything else, so let's look at the stats. So for our list of positives, we start with, while fully revved, Heavy receives 30% damage resistance, no movement speed penalty, and in fact, an additional 10% movement bonus. In other words, not only is Heavy granted a damage resistance while using this weapon, but he's also 10% faster. In addition, while revved, Heavy is also granted an alt fire ability, allowing the Heavy to charge forward and skewer his enemies. Basically, this means that Heavy can pick up and carry his enemies for a brief amount of time. And not just one, but multiples, in fact. And lastly, any enemies skewered by the Biobreaker will take an additional 20 damage while being carried. Now, with such great upsides to this weapon, there'd have to be some pretty bad downsides, right? Well, with the Biobreaker, not really. The Biobreaker's only downsides are essentially this. While revved, the Biobreaker drains 8 ammo per second. That isn't so bad though, considering you could literally roam the map for a full 25 seconds before ever having to pick up ammo. Secondly, the Biobreaker deals no knockback damage, so essentially you wouldn't ever be able to send your enemies flying with this weapon, but you could still drill them to death. And of course, lastly, you cannot shoot with this weapon, because there's obviously nothing to shoot. But overall though, considering how great the upsides were from before, these three little downsides hardly affect this weapon at all. So, I gotta admit, I was pretty torn on this weapon. See, on one end, I could see it playing as is totally fine and casual when the maps are more open and spacious, like say, payload maps or control points maps, but players would then have time to see this weapon coming and react accordingly, and hell, more mobile classes like the Scout could practically bully the Heavy around. But on the other hand, when it comes to more enclosed maps, say for instance King of the Hill or Attack Defend, I could see this weapon being absolutely OP, especially considering the amount of damage it can do. See, the damage stats for this weapon are as follows. Each damage hit deals up to 4 damage at farthest range and up to 40 damage at point blank. And if you're standing within range of this weapon, it can hit you as fast as up to 9 times per second. In other words, within less than a second, this weapon could take out literally any class at close range. And while the weapon obviously stays disadvantaged by not being able to shoot, I think after a few times of players just being absolutely shredded by this weapon in tight spaces, the Biobreaker would inevitably get the same complaints Pyrus Flaw gets now, which is having the ability to be too strong, too fast, and too often. So this brings me to my potential fixes. First off, I would start by reducing the damage this weapon deals, possibly by half. This would at least give players enough time to at least react if they turn the corner and you were already rushing towards them. Secondly, I would change the amount of ammo drained while using this weapon from 8 ammo per second to 10. The reason being, the Heavy has intentionally always been kept as a slow character to help balance his giant health pool. If you just keep the Heavy fast though, and his health remains the same, it makes it that much harder to ever actually kill the Heavy, which I think would obviously irritate players. Never mind if the Heavy had a pocket medic with him. And lastly, I would change how fast the charge ability could recharge, for essentially the same reasons. Allowing the Heavy to have a charge mechanic is really fun, but allowing it to recharge too fast allows for Heavy to basically use it how a Demo Knight uses it to retreat. So to prevent this, I would change the Biobreaker's recharge rate from 15 seconds to a whopping 60 seconds, or just essentially the amount of time it takes to recharge the Gas Passer. All these changes could keep the weapon fun and unique, while also preventing it from becoming too overpowered. But anyways, that about wraps up this episode of Heavy Weapon Concepts. Let me know what you guys think about this weapon, and if the changes I suggested were fair or not, or if you really think it wouldn't need any changes at all. Honestly, I really think this would be a cool idea for Heavy, and so I'd like to see it in the game someday if it were balanced enough. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and until next time, this was Big Joey! Later.